Hey, what's going on, world? Stan Man 12 here. And if you've been following me, you know I'm too excited to have this right here. The PS5, baby. I've been wanting this thing since it came out way back in November. Finally got it in January. A little late to the party, but hey, we still in there. Just got it Friday, and I just wanted to give you my first impressions. Um, a little early to, to give one, but I was so excited, man. I was like, let me let me make the first impressions for those that's been following me. Um, first and foremost, the size of this bad boy. If you watch my uh, unboxing video, I said it reminded me of the PS3, because how heavy this thing is, man. It got a little weight to it, but it's not as heavy as the PS3, because PS3 was real bulky. This is more like a tower, like, you know, it's more more, more uh, vertical, you know what I'm saying? And what stuck out to me off rip as soon as I took it out the box was the little black stand. Uh, as I read the directions, you can either have it standing up like how I have, like so, or you can have it on the side like, you know, all the other P uh, PlayStations. Um, that was pretty dope to me. So what do I think about the PS5 so far? So first and foremost, the PS5 is everything that I wanted it to be, straight up. Um, the first game that I played on it was Astro's Playroom. It was really more of my son, but I, uh, me and him passed the controller back and forth. Uh, but mostly him. I even put, I even posted that video on there so you guys can see that as well. But that was the first game. But I would say the first real game that me myself played was definitely Spider-Man Miles Morales. I've been waiting to play that on the PS5 since November, and it did not disappoint. Uh, the different type of visual settings that you can put on Miles Morales was amazing. So they had the fidelity. They had the performance and then the performance RT. Right now, I'm still playing it. I got it on performance RT for ray tracing. Uh, it looks great. It looks great. It looks amazing. Uh, big upgrade from the PS4, definitely. The load times, man. Let me tell you about the load times. So I just started playing 2K21 yesterday. And you know, when you go to the city and you go into the different stores and this, that, and the third. So usually it takes a little bit of time for it to load and you can walk in the store and get shoes and spend your VC and all that good stuff. Bruh, when I tell you, it was just like this. It was like this. Like, you know, like usually when you playing the PS4, you, you probably get on your phone for a little bit and text or call or, you know, something real quick. Dude, when I tell you it goes in the store, boom, it's like that. And the thing is, man, it's like, you can go to anything. So I switched from 2K to Mortal Kombat, and it was just like this. It was it's just real quick, man. The load times, <laughs> this thing is not playing no games when it comes to the load times, man. So you can see I got the PS4 here as for comparison, man. Look how tall this thing is, dude, compared to the PS4. And this is the original PS4. This is the first one, not the Slim. This is the first one that came out, man. The design. So the design of the PS5, I, I mean, when I first saw it, I, I, I had to grow into it. Meaning like, I, it had to grow on me. Cause I was like, man, this thing look like a day. It looked like a tower. Like, a, like, it, like it reminded me like a concept of a building, man. Like it just looks so futuristic. I don't know. It's just, it was just weird. I'm like, look at PlayStation always jump out the box. What I liked about the PS5 design was uh, I mean, PlayStation wasn't scared to jump out the box and, and do something different because Xbox just usually has this box shape, you know, it's just box, you know what I'm saying? But PlayStation has had many different sizes, different designs. Yo, like they keep it fresh, new. I definitely plan on putting a skin on my PS5. I don't know what I'll probably do. Lately, I usually been doing Nike, Jordan, or, or something along the lines. I might switch it up. I might put either like a, I might do Spider-Man. I like the Spider-Man one. I might do uh, some anime. I don't know. Uh, I'm, I'm still thinking about that. I don't know. As you can see, I got the disc version. Wasn't really a big fan of the digital. I'm, I'm kind of old school. I still kind of like to collect my games so I can look back and be like, man, Spider-Man Miles Morales, man, that was a dope game. I might, you know, boom, I could just go put that in at any time. Whereas like, if I got it on digital, I might have to delete it, make space, you know, you never know. So I'm kind of old school in that way. I like to, I like to keep a case. You know, I like to have a case. I just like to remember, you know, cause, cause I got a lot of games for the uh, the PS4 here that I'm, uh, 
I might trade in. I don't know. I'll, I'll probably keep them. I don't know. As you can see, I got the PS5 right here. I, I got the PS4 controller right here for comparison. As you can see, it's a little bit bigger. Just a little bit. Uh, it kind of reminds you of the Xbox controller. It's definitely different. I love the design. Uh, I love how you got the microphone right here. Um, if it was on, it'd light up orange right here. I like how the microphone is built into the controller. That's pretty dope. I'll probably end up still getting a headset, uh, but it's still dope. It's still dope to have it that is built in. It kind of threw me off when I was playing 2K the other day and somebody was talking and I forgot to mute it. It's crazy. I feel like Sony kind of developed this controller for the players with bigger hands, but if you got small hands, you're still, you're still good. So I got relatively kind of big hands. So it's like, even as I go back to the PS4, so it's a little smaller. You can see my hand is like, huge compared to this ps4 but it's like it doesn't look as big with the ps5 uh let me get into the haptics man so so like the haptics and the vibrations in this thing is amazing so like when i'm playing call of duty it uh it's extra responsive the right trigger and the left trigger it definitely threw me off when i was playing call of duty man definitely um the haptics and vibrations is very receptive in here uh definitely a huge difference from the ps4 uh, and as well as how I got my PS4 with the skins. I know it doesn't match, you know, I got the, the Jordan on. <laughs> I know everybody who's watching is like, my man got the Jordan skin on the PS4, but you got Vegeta on your PS4 controller. It is what it is. Let me be great. But anyway, I definitely do plan on putting the skin on my controller. I probably have it matching with whatever I put on the PS5 itself. So, so far, man, the PS5 has been amazing. I'm still learning how to use it. I'm still learning all the different capabilities that it has. I haven't even started streaming or broadcasting anything yet. Uh, the only gameplay that I've shared was the Astros Playroom. All in all, all in all, man, PS5 gets two thumbs up for me. It's everything that I wanted it to be. Everything that I've read up on is everything that you guys think it is. Trust me. Now, do you need the PS5? Now, that's a hard question. Like, one of my good friends asked me that. And I would say you don't need one because you can still play the same games on here. You can play them on here. The only difference is going to be the graphics because everybody wants to be up to date with the graphics. So I'm going to say yes, you do need the PS5 if you want to stay up to date. Now, uh, the last game that I played on the PS4 was Watch Dogs Legion. And then I downloaded it for the PS5 once I transferred everything. It total difference. It looked totally different. Um, it made you appreciate if you guys are new to my channel. Thanks for watching hit that subscribe button as well So you can stay up to date with me and definitely see more videos like the one you just watched appreciate all the love and support from my new subscribers Thank you guys. Love you guys. Stay safe out there and I'll see you guys next time